Hello and welcome back to the Truly Bedrock survey. Yes, believe it or not, I have actually been working on a, a bit of a special episode for episode 10 and it's seriously late, I know. I haven't actually put any videos on YouTube for quite a while, so welcome back. Yes, I'm back. I've been quite busy. You shall see, I'm sure, in the future why I have been away. Um, also, uh, the stream weekend has just gone by. That was yesterday, I believe. Uh, so that would have been the 29th and 30th of August. If you haven't already, go and follow me on Twitch and you can watch back what I've actually been up to. And yes, I'm in my jungle base, okay? And I'm finally going ahead and making a build. And I need my construction helmet for this. Doink. <laughs> it kind of looks like a little helmet, like health and safety, right? Always got to be first. Anyway, I've actually been building already on stream. Ugh, no spoilers here. And um, yeah, on stream, I only did this little part you can see here. Now, I've actually been building a crane, guys. It's not finished, so I'm going to finish it off with you. But yes, it's almost there. I quite like this, guys. I'm not actually going to be like a bit like big-headed here, but I actually think this looks pretty decent for me. I'm not essentially a builder. I've just got this weird inspiration. I've seen a couple of cranes walking around in France, and when I was near a beach in Dina, if you know where that is, there we go, that's where I round it, near St. Marlow, um, in France. Yeah, I think this looks pretty cool from far away. Um, I have marked off, you can see these like little line, these lines here and here. I kind of want to make this become like a bit of an archway. So if you have no idea why I'm actually building this, I want to attach a massive um, storage container on the end. And that's actually where I'm going to be putting all my stuff. Um, that's the main idea of this anyway. And the, the second main idea is that I need to keep this in the sky because I don't know if you know, but living in the jungle is probably the most dangerous place ever to live in Minecraft because there's just mobs everywhere. Um, obviously, even at daytime, like some mobs can spawn in these trees. You know, it's always dark around everywhere. So, yeah, either that or I just torch the place up. But me being myself, I like Skyblock. I like living in this voids. You know, you know what it's like on the channel and stuff. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I feel like living in the sky isn't too much of an issue. But yeah, also as well, just in case you didn't see, I've caught a couple of Vindicators here as well. Um, I don't really know if I'm going to be selling them to people. <laughs> I've, told, I've told the other Truly Bedrock members, 16 diamonds each for one. Um, I don't know what's going on here in the jungle. I think I need to come up with some storyline here that we've got Vindicator issues. Um, I've got five Vindicators here. One of them is called Johnny, and he kills the Enderman for me. And uh, I don't know, again, it, it's been so long since I made a video actually on the channel on the Truly Bedrock server, but I've actually changed this. I don't know if I've showed you that, but it, it does pretty well now. It does pump out quite a few mobs. Ouch. And I'll just go over here. We have got a couple of minecart hoppers just running around, collecting all the drops. And yes, it's not looking like a lot because I've recently just cleared it out. But I do have a load of rockets now, which is quite nice. So there we go. I've got loads of gunpowder. And I don't think I'm going to be buying any more rockets. Thank God. Because it's way too expensive. You end up spending like five diamonds a day. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit better. I don't know if it needs the lines in there, though. I feel like that's making it look a bit weird. It's making it look like a bit of a bridge. Either way... I'm pretty happy with that. I think I'm going to leave it as that for now and work on the actual storage part for it. Um, so I've actually gathered up quite a lot of um, a blackstone. And I'm going to be using a blackstone, I think, to make the actual storage crate. Now, I haven't got loads, but I need to change this into a smooth blackstone. Or polish, sorry. There we go. Nice. So I think what I'm going to do is probably build a bit more of this off camera. Um, just kind of had in bits here and there, basically. That's what I'm going to do. But I really want to get on with today, and that is to move everything from my chunk base to an actual storage area. And the way I'm going to do this is by, like I said at the start, adding a shipping container or some sort of crate 
to put all my bits in basically and this will be where all my storage is so it's technically in the sky but it's been hang or hung by a crane <laughs> now i can use these new chain blocks which is quite cool and kind of make a, a thing that goes around so it looks like it's actually like grabbing it if that makes sense but i'm tempted to make it look like it's a magnet on top i think i don't really know i've only got this much polished black stone i don't think this is definitely 100 percent is not going to be enough uh, for what i need but what we could do is kind of build some sort of like outline using um you know these uh what you call them scaffolding that i absolutely hate they're very uh handy but they're very hard to work with i think but uh yeah i think what i'm gonna do is kind of uh, try not to fall off there we go and what i'm gonna do is kind of build some sort of rubbish outline um for now and i'm probably gonna store everything in barrels i would say for now as well I ain't making this redstone or anything like that. I'm just kind of doing it just so I've, I can move out of my junk base, basically. I'm sick of going back there and forth. It's so annoying. Right, here we go. Nice. So I've actually got quite a bit of andesite kicking around. I think I'm going to use that as a kind of block that, you know, it's going to look like it's wrapped around the, the storage container. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, oh, we got rain by the sounds of it. I think I need to set up my hotbar here because it's a bit of a mess. So before I actually go and build it, I think I'm going to just make a, a bit of a template here. Just so I know how this kind of should look. Um, in my head. <laughs> I can obviously tear this down after. Uh, I feel like this might be right. So, I mean, oops, something like this. And then this will end up looking like it's grooves. Let's just kind of go up a bit. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool, like that. That's what I'm going to do. Um... Again, I don't know if I've got enough uh, materials here. I think what I need to do is make a couple of slabs then as well. And what we can do is kind of do that as well, I think. Um, okay, I kind of like that. Inside, I need to... I think what I'm going to do is not make it black inside. I'll probably change it to jungle wood or something like that. So it's actually made out of wood inside. But no, I feel like that's okay. I don't really know how high to go with this, though. That's my only uh, bit of downside here. I think if that's, what, one, two, three. I think seven's probably good, right? Four, five, six, seven. So, oops. I don't feel like I should go any higher than seven because I think it's going to look really odd. For the size of the crane to the size of the uh, storage container, I need to make sure it's not too big. Um, lengthwise, if that's, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That wouldn't be there. Eight. Eight. So I've added two more chains on the end of the crane. And I'm just kind of building this so I got a bit of a vision in my, in my head, if you know what I mean. Obviously, I built this in a creative world. I don't have all the jungle around. But I feel like this sort of size is big enough, maybe. Or it might need to go a little bit bigger. Because of the size of the crane I've actually made is a lot bigger than I originally like designed, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, this is actually 25 blocks along. And if I remember correctly, it's about 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 inside. So I feel like that's wide enough. I don't think I would want to go any wider than that, but it might I could possibly go a bit longer, maybe. But I think what I'm going to do is kind of just build this and come back when hopefully it's done that's a bit of a plan i just wanted to get this here so i kind of remembered how and what kind of design i was going to do here i might have enough polished stone i might have enough uh, i think i'll take the shulker box with me though and uh yeah let's crack on with this this could be uh interesting <laughs> i'm sure we'll be fine i'm sure i'll, I'll be fine let's look at this together Okay, we can barely see because of the other thing. But that's, yeah, I think that's a pretty decent size. It might be a bit too big. Um, 
this kind of gives you a bit of an idea of what I'm kind of doing here. So this crane is obviously holding it by uh, this andesite. If I was super rich, I could have used iron, yes. <laughs> but I actually wanted to use this because it kind of looks like metal in my eyes. And uh, you get stairs and slabs, so it's kind of got a bit more variation to it, I guess. Um, I'll just add in this like this so it looks like it's clipped in, like stuck into the actual crate. I don't know how that's going to look, but yeah, this will wrap all the way around it, so I have to go underneath it as well. But yes, uh, I haven't got a lot of blackstone, so I need to go to the shopping district and go and get some, basically. Good job, I'm quite wealthy now. So if you didn't know, I've um, actually got quite a few diamonds now. I think Foxy no Tail actually bought all my cactus from Ouch, believe it or not. And uh, yeah, that's made me quite wealthy, so I could definitely go and afford um, some blackstone. So... We're going to have a look at some prices. I know a couple of people are selling it. So hopefully I can find the best deal here. But out of my calculations, I might need a quite a lot. Um, maybe something like 12 or 14 stacks. <laughs> I'll go check my base as well. Maybe I've got some extra there. I doubt it though. I don't know what's in here guys <laughs> is it blackstone as well it is look basalt blackstone bricks blackstone one diamond per stack oh no he's empty i don't want the cracked stone bricks oh no okay let's get out of here a minute let's double check someone else's shops i'm more than certain that a couple of the uh truly bedrock members are actually selling uh Blackstone. Now, I don't know if this is connected to this. I can't bother to run because I'm, I'm lazy. <laughs> Iron blocks. Couple stone. Stone. Yeah, yeah. Stone by shelf. Okay. This one. I don't know. Does this one sell blackstone? Or is it just blaze rods? Soul sand, blaze rods, fork. <laughs> no blackstone there. Okay, there is another shop I might actually go and check. Fuels for you. Well, hang on, has this got any? ATM. <laughs> just blazer rods. Oh, there's diamonds in there. Yummy. Let's uh, just check Jessie's little bargain shop over here. She might have some blackstone randomly. Let's have a look. Uh, I know there's other things upstairs. No, this is just prismarine. Litra. Okay, that's diamonds, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we won't do that then. Um, I might have options here. Or is there something else? Am I missing? I swear there was more than that. Mm, what about in here? It's just bones, isn't it? Bones. Bones and coal. That's glass. So I've just stumbled across a basalt delta, and these things generate quite a lot of blackstone. So I've just been going around, as you do, kind of mining away a load of blackstone. <laughs> but these magma cube things, they are so annoying. Unbelievably annoying. But yes, I've only got one firework left, so it's my kind of emergency one. But yeah, I've kind of swayed away from the... Uh, from the never hub and i'm not actually gonna lie here i'm kind of a little bit lost maybe i'll just kind of grabbing as much as i can leave me alone you stupid things they will destroy me i've only got a gold helmet on remember as well oh yeah they're coming right i think i think that'll probably do i think it's kind of this way don't i'm not i don't think it's that far away but yeah this is how much i've got so far i think this probably will be enough oh now we got gas issues Okay, there's some more blackstone there, look. Quite a lot of it, actually. Can I fly across there, maybe? I think so. Nice. This isn't looking good for me now. I have got the emergency rocket still to hand, which is quite good. I think I'm just going to go this way. Let's just get out of there, maybe. It looks like I'm going to have to use the emergency rocket.
Oh no. Oh my god, my Elytra just broke. <laughs> wow, that is super weird. Wow, I can't believe that's actually broken. Okay. Can you mend, please? Oh dear. We don't have an Elytra now. This has all gone really, really sour, but there's some stuff here, so maybe someone's already been here before. I mean, there is a warp forest right next to our, uh, our kind of area, but remember, Dan, I can't fly. I have feather falling, though, right? Wow. <laughs> I've never, ever broken a Litra before. That's so weird. Go away. I'm going to completely mess this up, and I, and just jump off. I don't feel like this is a good way. We need to go up, maybe. <sighs> oh my god. That was a weird sound. I've just fallen in to the actual never hub. I think I should survive this fall. Yeah. Ah, we did it, guys. We made it safely back here. Right, let's go and repair my Elytra and get some rockets and yeah. I'm super happy I didn't die in a never. I thought I was going to because, uh, you know, going around there with no fireworks, no Elytra, and no fire resistance potions is probably not the safest thing in the world, right? Um, but anyway, let's get back to my little base and hopefully finish off this little storage container. I hope. So I'm just going to stick my ancient debris I found a minute ago, and I'm just going to chuck that in there. And again, I've cleaned out my hotbar once again, but I just wanted to show you here. Look, you're getting a proper size here of what this actually is going to be like. So probably where my cursor is, is where this is going to hopefully finish. That's the idea. Um, the only downside about this is maybe I should have built the crane facing the other way. <laughs> Because my mob farm's kind of in the way of it. So it doesn't look as great because it's not by itself anymore. If that makes sense. Unfortunately. Um, bit of an error by DRP there, I think. I should have put the crane facing that way. Hey ho, we won't dwell on it. It's fine. So I've just come back to the shopping district. And somebody else actually sells a black stone. Unfortunately. Whoops. I mean, if I could open the chest. Hi. <laughs> we don't have any black stone left. Two stacks for a diamond. That's so cheap as well. So I'm on the hunt for the basalt delta again. Because I've run out of black stone. Well, there's some there, look. We shall take this stuff. Okay, I've got to be careful. Look at my elytra. It's almost broken again. Okay, okay. We gotta just stay here now. Uh, try not to land in a lava den. <laughs> what an idiot. Alright, let's just grab as much of this as we can. Ooh, try not to burn to death. Oh god, oh god, I just landed in there again and it didn't catch me a light. There we go. So I've just killed a load of magma cubes and I've got that much uh, durability now. It's giving me a bit more of a breather. Oh, that was a bit scary, wasn't it? Right, we can put all this stuff back on now. I thought I was going to die. So I've actually ended up getting myself 10 stacks of 64 blackstone. I'm hoping that's probably enough now. Um, the other issue I got is I'm on my last pumpkin pie, um, but it's okay. I think I kind of know how to get out of here. Oh, please don't fall in a lava, Dan. I think we're all right. <laughs> Oof. Me and Anever are not best friends, I swear. This is the second time I've... Oh, dear. GG, man. <laughs> Beardstone. <laughs> Beardstone has just died. Uh, rip. <laughs> Poor fella. Thank you. <laughs> Poor fella. Right. We need to get home. I think it's this way. 
It's fine this time. I got rockets. Oh, wow. What's this? What's this? Oh, look. There's a load of XP here. What's going on here? Why is there rails? Oh, I might know why there's rails here. I'll take all this XP, though. Can use that to repair my uh, lovely wings. Ouch, my helmet. My gold helmet's broken. I've run out of food. I'm getting a bit scared now. I'm a bit lost. I'm not going to lie. Again, this, keep hap this keeps happening with me. <laughs> Uh, I'm kind of looking around for a, um, a hoglin. There's be so many noises of gas. What is going on? I think there's about a ton of gas somewhere. Oh, look. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> Whoops. I was just laughing about uh, Mr. Beardstone dying, but now I've actually gone ahead and killed myself as well. So yeah, I got a bit of grinding to do again now, but luckily at this time, I've still got my helmet here, but I've actually got a load of diamonds. Yeah, I shall finish this off camera and <laughs> get all my gear back. Oh God. Whoops. I hate the never. As soon as I go in there, I die. I swear. So I'll be going away and um, gathering up some more resources to finish this build off. <laughs> and I swear today isn't my luck, okay? Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm going to have to just show you this, guys. Something bad, extremely bad, beyond extremely bad happened. Let me show you my ender chest. Can you tell what's missing there? I'm missing my riches chest. I've had to start a new one. Cornice Riches version 2. Look at me. I'm such a poor man. That's all I have. <laughs> Guys, I'm such a freaking idiot. I'll show you a picture on screen now. But as you can see, I um, was carrying my Riches chest. Well, my shulker box. And I, um, I fell in the lava. Right where my uh, striders are, you know. And uh, the only thing that happened to burn was the actual box. Now, the reason I had the box was because you might notice there's a couple of, uh, what do you call it, um, enchanted books. I just went to Blue Jay's shop and I bought some enchanted books just to recreate some things because I just recently died in lava. Oh my god, I've just noticed something. Look at this. Who's put that in there? Somebody's put that in there. Surely somebody's put that in there. Surely somebody's put that in there. If that spawned in there naturally, I cannot believe that. that that's that got to be someone's put that in there. Surely somebody's put that in there. Hang on a minute. If he's got a name. He hasn't got a name. Oh, my God. So, before we do end the episode there, I just wanted to show you this quickly as well. <laughs> We're going to have to come up with a name for a little squiddy there. That's quite funny. I got a squid spawned in there. Yes, this is um, almost complete now. I am running out of blackstone, and I need to kind of get everything back again now, unfortunately. So, yeah, you are kind of getting a big gist of what this is going to look like. So hopefully by next episode, episode 11, I should have it finished, I hope. But anyway, guys, I'm Dan Ross Probs. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, I'll probably be streaming on Thursday. That'll be the 3rd of September as well. Just kind of grinding, basically <laughs> mining again. <laughs> I gotta do everything again because I got nothing left. Um, so if any other Truly Bedrock members are on here, can you post me some diamonds from the mailbox? Thank you. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll catch you next time. Bye. And yes, I'm wearing a, a really bad helmet because that's all they can afford. Literally, I have nothing.